Hello and welcome to Charles Sports Sandy. I thought I saw my somewhere else. I said, I said uh, I, I'm Ken of Chonogo. And then, uh, I think uh, we're not here in the Christmas mood, but then uh, the carols have started coming in. Well, I'm getting some rapping carols these days. Ooh. Not those traditional ones that use jingle bear, jingle bear, jingle all the way. I don't know. Our own channels too, our own moon is coming out soon. But this time around, at least I'll be there to, you know, put my own voice and usher you, you know, or herald you into the Christmas season. And then this is sports. And when it is sports, that is what we do here every Sunday. We try to see how many of you can join us and be part of the show. Um, today we're going to look at a few things, uh, but we'll start with tomorrow. We are starting from tomorrow today uh, because tomorrow Africa will choose her best, her best players. Uh, 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 uh. The last time we won this thing was in 1999. <laughs> So, by tomorrow, we'll know if Asisat, somebody's here to tell us about how many Asisat had won, and then how the ladies are doing, doing better than the men. Because I'm seeing five, I'm seeing four, I'm seeing two. Uh, uh, six Nigerians have won, uh, are they, you know, the, 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 the best six of them. Uh, I will remember, you know, I want to start from somewhere because I'm trying to pull your legs. Um, Rash, Rashidi Yekini, you know, he got that. That is number one. Emmanuel Amuneke, Emmanuel Amuneke got that. Uh, Victor Ekbeba, yes, Victor Ekbeba got it. And then um, um, Juan Kokano, Juan Kokano got it. Uh, who is the fifth? Rashidi, uh, Victor Amuneke, Ekbeba. Who am I missing? I'm missing someone. I'm missing someone. There is still somebody I'm missing. Uh, then, okay. But then there is also the first one to win it. Some of you don't know it. Some of you says uh, it was by Asju. Uh, yeah, Amunike, I've mentioned I was talking about you know, uh, Rashidi, Amunike, Ikbeba, Wanko, Kano. Who is the, who am I missing? Okay, but then there is also <laughs> the man mountain, <laughs> Emmanuel Okala. You guys are surprised. I told you this, 70 years. Asked you, the African sport journalists, they came together and said, yes, we want to choose ourselves, not France football, choosing who is going to be the African player of the year. And that year, they choose, yes, they choose Emmanuel Okala. Emmanuel Ogwejo for Okala. So he became the first Nigerian to be, to be so chosen as the African footballer of the year. But then coming into uh, 94, we remember Gangling Yekini, who can, you know, that, that at 37 goals he scored for Nigeria, highest goal scorer, and that was the thing. And then the others followed. The Prince of Monaco, he got his own. Uh, uh, Amun, Amuneke, a child, uh, that, that guy has a, a special uh, place also in There are players who have special places in history in Nigerian, in Nigerian football and also Nigerian sports. Amuneke, Amuneke, as some of you can know, scored a winning goal when we won the AFCON. That is in 94. Scored a winning goal when we won the, you know, uh, uh, the Asia, Afro Asian Champion Cup. We played in Uzbekistan. He scored a winning goal. And then in Atlanta, 96, that was 94, 95, 96, when we played that final, he also scored the winning goals. It was one of the Christmas. Probably this Christmas. Uh, uh, is it on a Sunday? If Christmas is on a Sunday, I tell you this, we'll bring Amunike on the show. <laughs> and then we'll celebrate the Christmas, baby. We want to see if we can do that. But then, uh, the league is on, uh, uh, MPFL is on today. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll look at the fixtures and look at also the stories surrounding them. Uh, in, in, in Europe, in Europe, I don't know, Manchester United. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, the middle is zero, of course. They, they will win and they will lose. But then, what, uh, when, when a bone in the mouth came out to meet them at Old Trafford, it was something else. And they chopped it one, two, three. Uh, Villa, Villa, yeah, I, I think I, I took, I, there was a picture I took when I went, when I went to the Midlands in Aston Villa. I don't want to post it because if I post it, some guys will break my head. So, uh, Aston Villa did beat Manchester City, you know, you understand, and then you say, well, no, 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 it was, a, and then they, they prepared, they prepared, and then also beat, you know, uh, 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 the top team then. No, they were no longer the top team when they were beating because Liverpool were already top. So, as it is now, they are saying, we are contenders. Ona Emery, is it afternoon now? I want to say good evening. Good evening, my guys. And that is the thing. So we'll look at that. We'll look at the NBA too. And then we'll also look at the big one because we have the big guy in the house. See, 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 see. We have him in the house. You are going to see him. You are going to meet him. Of course, he will be joining us, but he is in the house because we'll have almost, yeah, almost the whole show. We'll go over there. I'll meet him. But before I do that, let me introduce the creamiest of the creamiest. The creamy one is in the house. <laughs> Cecilia Borrega. Cece, how are you? <laughs> Great to be here yeah. on this side of the show. On this side of the Fantastic. <laughs> I, I would have even wanted you to be here. No, 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 no. I would have, on this side of the I would, show. I, I, I like when you are here, when you present. So I would yeah, not be there is, to... This is more comfortable. This is more, that's more comfortable. <laughs> there is comfort on both sides. Yeah. Okay. MBA, you are, you, are, you are a LeBron James one. <laughs> don't don't okay. do that to me. Don't do that to me. 
<laughs> I'm standing with that. Okay, fine. I mean, you know, when when the the when we uh, before you know the season started, when um Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, was talking about the in-season tournament, we we're wondering what this is all about. Yeah. Then the draws were made, you know, ESPN were talking all about it and everything. And then it, it all started. So we're thinking, okay, maybe teams like Boston Celtics do have the opportunity to win in you no know, teams like Indiana Indiana Pacers, of course, got into the finals. But at the end of it, it was LA Lakers who I thought because of the, what their performance last season. Somehow, LeBron James was, monster, was a monster all through. You had uh, Anthony Davis decide to come to the party, and at the end of the day, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, they had to win it just early hours of this morning. So for the NBA inaugural season, something that we haven't seen before is the first time it's happening, and of course, they're hoping that they can actually improve on that. But one fantastic thing about the NBA in season is, is some of the stars, you know. When you're having a team like Indiana Pacers, I mean, upstarts, that's what they call them, yeah. the young players, and then you're having... Milwaukee Bucks being beaten, you know, where you have with, Giannis with, with, with and, and Tete and Tete and Kenneth. Okay, <laughs> Damian I, I, don't, I don't want to cut my mouth. <laughs> I want to use the Kumpo. I want to use the Kumpo. I the Kumpo. I did the Kumpo. Giannis. We have a team, someone like Giannis, Damian Lillard in a team, and then you're losing to a team that you don't even expect them to lose to. So, yeah. I mean, it, it was a, a surprise, so to speak. But I think kind of set a tone of what we may expect, you know, in the sports season. Yeah. But for Lakers, I think good one for LeBron James and being able to, you know, I, I, must he win everything? See, it's a I mean, must he win everything? MVP. Yes, he can because okay. take a look at what he has done at 39, coming up with 20, uh, 24 points on the night, and not just ta that 11 rebounds, assist five, and then you go to Anthony Davis, what he did on the night, 41 points, 20 rebounds. Who does that? Four steals, five assists. So these guys on the night, they knew what they needed to do. They came to the party, and, and Indiana he Peters and, and he got it were just nowhere to be that i thought after you know they, they, they stone uh the box they will you know be able to at but, least but they, they did provide get, no they, they did I mean, yes they, they, they did they yeah. did really they did really, especially with the way the box were taken out because uh when yanis was celebrating his his 24th birthday 25th birthday on wednesday when he was talking about it that no matter what happens they've got young players younger players coming up i'm like okay fine you got younger players coming up but you have brooks lopez there you have um Chris Middleton, you have Damian Lillard, you have Yanis, and then you're losing to a team like Indiana Pacers. So I don't know what's going to happen. you say that if Indiana Pacers are those no, players, no, they are NBA players. Yeah, I know, but, but when you look at the stars of their team, when yeah. you have four, like... On the four, day, they showed up. Four the other team stars, showed yes. up. I mean, Damian Lillard on the, on the night can give you 50, 40 yeah, points. But that is something, Yanis also somebody, can somebody do that. Brooke Lopez can do that. Somebody Chris shot Middleton, them down. Yeah. Put him, that, that is strategy. <laughs> Put somebody up there. Make sure they don't, don't shot some good. All right. Well, I mean, fantastic <laughs> okay. for all right. I mean, uh, uh, winning something this season. Like today, we told you, uh, myself and Sissy is here, and then maybe one or two of our, our, guy, our guys in the house will join us. But uh, before we talk about the league, the MPFL league, we're going, we're going on today. Uh, some of the matches will be just one, uh, one of the postponed matches that will be off. But we will be, we'll be going on. We want to see if um, we can go straight to Enugu. We can go straight to Enugu because today, yes. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you this. I said like there are, there are, there are certain uh, um, athletes in Nigeria whose and then uh, the, the, the pedestal in which you can find them, you didn't understand, is not where we male, male mortals are. Some of you are watching here. Let me tell you, like, knock your head on this too. I will tell you, it's not where we mortals are. I mean, you see, in the history of a country, is, you, know, uh, you, you look at those moments, those moments that make the history, and those who are at those crucial moments when it happened. Let me tell you this. A football club in Nigeria won the FA Cup. Then the FA Cup was 10 times more prestigious than the league. Forget it, too, because the FA Cup was, when they are playing, we, 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 we followed the data match to the stadium. 74, 75, 76. In Europe, uh, uh, CC, in Europe, 74, 75, 76, Bayern Munich was winning the Champions League. In Nigeria, a team was winning the FA Cup. I tell you this, 74, 75, 76, they won it. They even won double-double. Venetians. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm catching you there. <laughs> you understand? Now, we move on. And then, uh, uh, in 76, in 76, uh, IICC, Shooting Stars, won the Cup Winners Cup. Then in 77, there was a battle. There was a battle. There was a battle in Lagos and there was a battle in Kaduna. I tell you this. When you have Chuku, Okala, Atwibu, you have Odegbami, you have Ojebode, you have Muda. You, I tell you this. 
Not the stars you have today. Those were Nigerian stars at all the nooks and crannies of this country. You, when you mention their name, you understand? When you hear, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, dun 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 You know that? It is a goal. It is a goal. It is a goal. Take by me. Oh my God. So it was something that was happening there. You understand? So one man was there. He was the captain of the team that won the FA Cup in those years. He was the captain of the, that won the Cup Winners' Cup in 1977. He was the captain of the team that won the first AFCON for Nigeria in 1980. He was the assistant coach when Nigeria went over there in 1985 to win the Under-70 Championship. He was the assistant coach when we won the FA uh, AFCON in 1994. After he had just he was like Mario Zagallo. Zagallo was part of the team that won the uh, uh, World Cup with Brazil. You know, uh, um, the, 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 in the the 66 uh, 62 era, he went over there in, uh, uh, in 1970 to, be the, to win as a coach. In 94, came back to assist Carlos Ferreira to win the coach. And I we're talking about that, the same, this man is a coach, administrator, a leader. Can we go to Enugu if we are ready? Is it, are we ready? Are we ready to get to Enugu? Let That's us meet the man. Yes, the man they call the chairman, Christian Chuku. The chair. <laughs> ah, that, that's my chair. Ken, that's Ken, 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 Ken. Good afternoon, Ken. Chairman, how are you? How are you, Chairman? I'm fine. We thank God. It's good. It's good to we see thank you. God, I'm it's fine good to for see today. you live. Yes, I wish you can carry you into this studio and sit down here with us, so you can glorify and edify and edify the studio, this place for us. Okay, Chairman. Uh, uh -huh. I want you know we are just see. We are just going to have a talk. We are going to have a talk. But the thing is, why are we bringing him here? Uh, uh, I will be. I will look at some part because I have a book in my hand, and this book is the field marshal. The field marshal. Uh, as you see, you can see it. Yeah. The field marshal. Mm. The field marshal is about the field marshal. It's, it's about the chairman. It's about you know his beginning, his humble beginnings, his exploits as a footballer, and also his exploits as a coach and administrator. And everything is all here. And then it has been put down. And I said, let us. Uh, uh, let us let us let us go over here. I know we're having some audio uh, issues, but you know we are going to have this interview because it's not always we have the opportunity to do this. Uh, uh, Chairman Chuku, yes, that's the field marshal. Okay, you can see him there. Yes, he, 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 he still his hair is still like my own, the same shining. See, see, it's not shining. The same we have the same shiny <laughs> hair, my Chairman. All right, Chairman, Chairman, Chairman Chuku, let us let us start with this. Um, I want to, I want you to tell us briefly. What was it like the first day, the first day, uh, uh, for you and from the academicals, that you found out that you will play for Rangers International? What, how, what kind of feeling did you have on that day? Well, Ken, it was a wonderful feeling because uh, on the academicals, we won the academicals that year, and uh, we came back to play with Rangers, you know, at home. Rangers won the FA Cup then, and uh, we played them. And uh, after the game, uh, about uh, three of us were called to Rangers, while the rest of us went to Vasco. You know that time we have a Vasco. Vasco, Vasco, was a Vasco da Gama. <laughs> My, yes. Myself, Obueze, and Ezan went to Rangers, while the rest went to Vasco to form the Vasco da Gama. So it was a big honor to us. But later on, the other ones that went to Vasco gradually crossing over and coming to Rangers and joining us in the game. OK, uh, uh, it, it means you played the academicals. The academicals used to be where the young players in Nigeria were spotted. Uh, uh, how was it like? Playing in the academy, you know, playing in you know, school football in Nigeria and winning it. You understand? Not just, just playing it, but winning the academic trophy in Nigeria. How was it like, Chairman? Chairman? Yeah, it was uh, it was fantastic because uh, that is where talents are discovered. You know, we are then by we are then in Central State, and uh, we played school sports, and uh, our coach then selected us. You know, let that I am and this realm selected the 11 of us or uh, 18 of us, and we went to represent the state. And uh, we went to Lagos and uh, we just came back from the war. 
And everybody was saying, ah, they don't play anything, they can't play anything, and so on. But God on our side, we started playing, and we started winning. And then we have to meet Quara in the finals, which we beat them in the finals. And after that, beating them in the finals, the Igbo people started singing, Eyimba Eyimba And as we are coming back, any car that blocks our bus, we, they carry it up up the road immediately. That is how we started, and that is how Rangers started too. You know, so that is how we integrate ourselves sports-wise in Nigeria. Okay, uh, uh, like like I said, uh, uh, we are not going in, in chronological order in this interview uh, because son, you just mentioned something I didn't even recollect, but probably right there that you guys met Quara in the final in the academicals, chairman. In 19, yes. Uh, yes, in the finals of 1976 FA Cup, you also met Ayuf Salan Rock of Ilore Equara, isn't it? And Equara team in the finals when you you know yes. in that road. Yes. yes. Okay. Tell yes. us about tell us about that final 1976 FA Cup final. Oh, 1976 FA Cup final. Yes. You know that uh, we've been winning the league. I'm playing Africa Cup Championship. Yes. And uh, that 76, you know, we could not win the, the 3SC won the league. And we need to go back to Continental. Yes. And when we meet Ayu Salam, when we meet Ayu Salam, we play them, we defeated them hands down, and so on. And that made us to go and play Cup Winners Cup, where we met 3SC in the finals. And when we played the first leg in Lagos, then to play the second leg in Enugu, uh, they said, no, Lagos was not 3SC home. That we are going to play it uh, in Kaduna. And so I said, why? It's where they choose to play their own home matches and so on. So it was the president then, Yeredua, that directed that the match would be taken to Kaduna. And we all went to Kaduna, and that was history. And we ended in a draw and it ended in a penalties where we won three S. Uh, uh, three SC won the three SC won the league in 1976. Won won the Cup Winners Cup in 1976. Chairman, Chairman, was Nigeria right to field Rangers and field three SC? To be and play Cup Winners Cup and allow Water Corporation to go and play Champions Cup. Why didn't they, why didn't shooting stars? Of course, you can't say that. Don't you think it would have been better for shooting stars to go and play the Champions League, Champions Cup, and allow Rangers to play this sort of our two the two strongest team in Nigeria? Could have, we could have won the double that year. Don't you think so? That is true, but they want to defend their championship. You know, they won the Cup Winners Cup in 76. Yes. So they want to defend it. They want to defend it. And that is how we came. And you know, on our road to get to the final, that is when we were handled by Senegal. Police, know, police, police of Senegal. Final, when we, well, uh, uh, police of Senegal. Yes. When we went to Senegal. And it was the ambassador that saved us and brought us back that night. Because we were beating hell, you know, in Senegal. How can they come here? They came to Nigeria and got a draw. They, they feel that they have qualified for everything. And we went there. And surprisingly, they saw us and we beat them. So hell was loose in Senegal. And uh, we were carried home from the field to the airport where we came back. And uh, fortunately, two for three uh, IICC then. They, they qualify for the same final. So there is nothing we can do than the two teams to meet. And they had to play home first. And they choose Lagos as their home. And we went to Lagos to play them. And we played the draw. And when it goes to our top, we say our home is Enugu. They say it becomes a big argument. Lagos, Salami, and Chief Jim Wobodo. You know, they were the two chairmen by then. It became a hot argument. Then Yara do have to intervene and said, no, take this match to Kaduna. These are Nigerians. And that's how we went to Kaduna to play the finals.
Okay, uh, uh, chairman, chairman, we want to go on a short break. Eh? We want to go on a short break. But when we come back, yeah. I, will, I will take you a year, be a year before this. Because Rangers played half year of Guinea in the finals. And then they, you went to play mm -hmm. in Konakri. You went to, they didn't play in Konakri. You went to play them you know, in their ground. And when it was time for you to play in yeah. Enugu in the final, they said, no, come to Lagos. We are going on a short break, Chairman. When we come back, you will tell us what happened in the 1975 you know, African Champions Cup final. It is Channel Sport on Sunday. We have the Chairman in the house, the Field Marshal, go nowhere. <laughs> I don't know what it, I don't know what I want to become. What I would maybe it's I, I too see, late for you, your I daughter. see footballers, they yeah. get so much money. Mm -hmm. I see boxers, they just one punch. The way this is the Thai seafood, then it's no, it's not worth the money. This from the I can drive, but no, I can't. No, no, no. Of course, from Lawana, I can do that. But yeah. boxing, no. Yeah, but we can drive. Give me a billion, I won't box. Yeah, but, but what are, what are these? Uh, driving, of course, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that is, yeah we oh, can do that. They, they yeah. monstrous so much money. When the alert enters your account, maybe, you know, so you don't mean. There, there's this sound that comes out, you know, well, like. Uh, um, <laughs> you understand what I mean? I understand. Like, yeah. There's this heaviness. It's heavy. Like, What's happened? How, how good has it been? Versus, this I, I think it was boring. This was the Formula One that sometimes I don't even get to watch it. Okay. Because somehow, if he's on podium, I mean, he's finishing, if he's on pole, going into the, fine, the, the race on, on, on Sunday. Somehow, you know he was going to win. win. I mean, how do you 19, 19 out of 22? What's wins. that? I mean, when Ahamiti was dominating, yes, we're saying it's becoming boring. But it was competitive. But first of all, this is third time, right? Yeah. That's what's going to happen next season. And, even, and Red Bull are even saying that they need to improve on, on their, their cars. cars. So I don't even know what they're going to do okay. next. I think uh, uh, Mercedes, I don't know what we're going to do to actually wrestle that from Mars Verstappen. That okay, let's see, let's see. The technology is the car. The, the car. It's yeah, all it's about the car. car. Of course, you have a good driver, but you need the car first. You know, the faster cars. That you, you will see that any time Mercedes is dominating, the Mercedes drivers are always one and two. Now you're talking with this red, red one and two. One Ferrari. And two. So you always see yeah, it is all and mostly about the car. So just get the, and that's why they poach the engineers. They will just go there and collect them and then, you know, see what they are doing what uh, 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 technology they are going to add, what they want to remove, to remove the weight, any little thing they can remove in order to make the car faster. Faster. Anyway, let's see. Uh, uh, and we, 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 2024, we will see if you've got right now uh, Michael Schumacher uh -huh. and uh, uh, Lewis and Hamilton, Hamilton seven, seven. Same, yeah. he is on three. Uh, um, so I Vettel, Vettel went, on Vettel went one, two, three, four, four and that and was it. Uh, Rosberg won just one, and this that when it was with uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mercedes. Mercedes, you know, mm -hmm. that one, it was the right, it was right yeah, bar, it was and, and left. So that's what is going to happen in that. But I, I love, I love, I love Formula One. I love the overtake. I love the adrenaline that you know, it will just be pumping up. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, well, we, 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 we're still going back to Enugu now. Uh, but before we go back to Enugu, let's just look at the, uh, the league fixtures for today, our MPFL league fixtures. Uh, one, one of the fixtures is close. I'll ask you about it. But let us see if we can get the fixtures here, yes, CC. Uh, we have, um, the, we have it on, we'll still have it on the screen before we go to Enugu uh, to rejoin the chairman. Okay, that is it. Uh, CC, can you take that? Yeah. We have Gumbe United and Heartland of Uwe will be in action. Also, we have Aqua United against Lobisters. Lobisters lost in Benin City you know, when, when the, we'll be playing against Aqua United. We had just how many wins this season? Yeah, it will be a, a bad one for them. But ISO United will be up against Enugu Rangers. Benin Insurance will be hosting Sunshine Stars. Yeah, that, that I'm is wondering the why this game is it's taking place, place today. Yeah. Eimba and Abia Warriors will also be in action. Ninja Tornadoes and Plateau United, Remo Stars and Quarry United also have Shooting Stars and Katsina United. That's the fixtures uh, uh, we have uh, uh, March Day 13. Okay. Doma United, Yesterday. wow, tabletoppers uh, <laughs> against the uh, kind of pillars. They won that game. And now when you look at the Premier League table, it's so ooh, ooh, delicious, ooh, ooh. so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> because you're having a team who came to MPFL top like just last season. Yeah. And this season, we thought last season was just a fluke. Yes, it's a bridge version. That's why they were able to have that good run. They almost made the Super 6, but they at the last minute they couldn't. But now you're having this team. The way they're playing. Remember Rivers United went there, they were beating up. Uh, Aimba, of course, they were canoe pillars. They've been canoe so pillars at home. They're uh, Tibut canoe pillars. <laughs> so, so it seems this team is actually a team to be taken seriously this season. Okay. So well, the reason why we're talking about uh, Ben Insurance and Sunshine Stars, because why uh, uh, Sunshine Stars were going to Benin City yesterday, it, along that Bini Ore road, you know, they were attacked by hoodlums and robbers, and then a bald boy was actually shot 
during that time and as, then the as, players as, were as really as, traumatized. Uh, some, some players so their managers were also injured. Injured and okay, so maybe, or maybe because the players were not injured, that is why injured, that's why it's going ahead. But from the story, you know, we we got feelers we got from the camp and from Benin City and also from their own camp is the fact that some of the players and managers are actually really traumatized. Exactly the trauma. Yeah. the trauma yeah. and so the Edo State Governor Governor Obaseke had to send people, delegates, to go to the hospital to visit them. But the bald boy, they said, is responding to treatment. He was the only one that was shot. Okay. But now we're hoping that they will have, they will be in that frame of mind to actually play the game that will be taking place today in Benin City, right there at the Samuel Ogbe Media Stadium. Okay, uh, uh, Rangers will be visiting Bielsa United. So maybe the chairman, chairman will be monitoring <laughs> that. Let's go back to Chairman Chuko. Let's go back. Let's go back to Enugu because he is there. You know, we are stressing. Chema, Chema is, Chema is a, 70 plus now. I think 71, 72. Hello, hello Chema, Chuk, Chema, Chuk, Chema, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's there. Yeah, Ken, 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 I'm here. Chema, you celebrated your 70th birthday. Is it two or three years ago? What? Who is, who is blocking my Chema? Uh, <laughs> go on, go on, Chema. Go on, go on. Don't worry. We'll, we'll be hearing you. We'll call, as long as we're listening, we're hearing your voice. Go on. Yeah, uh, I'm going to celebrate my birthday, 73 year birthday, on January 4th. On January 4th. All right, so I'm oh. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm right. So, chairman, chairman has spent yeah, you're right. Uh, three three decades. Okay, four decades now. That is a, how do we call it? That is a three three. What do we call 20, 20 years? 20 years. 10 years is a decade now. Okay, that is seven 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 decades. Leave me. All right, Chema, let's come back. I asked you this. I asked you this. I asked you this. Uh, the Hafia, the Hafia game uh, that you had had opened. Rangers yeah. had opened. Rangers was founded in 1970. And just five years after the formation of Rangers, they were playing in the champ, what we call it, uh, Champions League final now. They were playing in the final of the champ, Champion of Champions Cup. You know, they went over there in Guinea That's and got, you know, a, a very good result. Then came back, wanted to play the game. Right there in Enugu, but the NFA says no. Carfru says you must play it in Lagos. I don't know where the code is from. What happened in 1975? They are in this book. I'm telling you this. Everything is in this book. Uh, uh, the field marshal about the life of explaining this of Chairman Chuku. But let's hear from him. Let's hear from him. I know, Chairman, what happened in 1975? Ken, you are taking me in memory then. <laughs> you know, in 75, we went to Hafia to get a draw. Yeah. And we came back and went straight to Enugu to prepare for the return leg. You know, uh, we were training, we were preparing ourselves as the players and so on. We don't know what was going on between the officials, you know, and so on. What we later had is that a day to the match, we were told that we must come to Lagos to play the game. You know, we were all surprised. We have to rush to the airport. We started struggling the aircraft with the ordinary passengers to get to Lagos, you know? So we don't know what conspired between the officials and so on, you know? And when we came to Lagos, we could not even have a good rest before the match, you know? And when we played the match, we had other problems though. And uh, that's how Afia decided to beat us in Lagos, which is very annoying. I don't want to remember that incident any longer. I don't. I, I, I even don't want to remember it, Chairman. I don't even want to remember it. Talk less of you. I don't want to remember it. Because <laughs> I don't want to remember it. So let's let's go to the one you like to remember. Let's go to the one you remember. That was 1975. Five years later, it was 1980, and then Nigeria hosted the Afcon, and then in the finals we met Algeria. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Chairman Chuku was the MVP. He was the best player of Afcon in 1980. If you, if you like, don't remember it. Write it, be writing it down. <laughs> Here he is the legend, the legend, the correct. man. Yeah, correct. <laughs> the man. What what was the final like playing Algeria in the final? Yeah, Ken. You know, you know, getting to that final, people don't know how we prepared. You know, we started from uh, Addis Ababa, where we played, and we got a bronze medal. In 76. Yeah. 76, yeah. And in 78, yeah, in 76. And in 78, we went to Uganda. Yeah. And won a bronze medal again. But you were, were beaten by Uganda. You were beaten by Uganda. 
<laughs> we are from the formidable side. Yes, okay. We are from the very formidable side. Yes. When we sit there on our own ground, we cannot win any other thing than the, the gold medal. And uh, God being on our side, we played all our hearts and we get the gold medal. You know? Three zero. And we have to thank <laughs> Chef Sagari because yeah. he never forget us. He made us why we are still surviving. Those of us surviving today are surviving. We were showered with so many things, Ken, you know, all, all of those things. Uh, I will, I will tell, I will tell so them what they gave you. They gave you cars. They gave you houses in first act. They handed the key over to you. You know that, but I don't know how much they gave you. I know they gave you, they gave you, they gave you cars and they gave you houses. Brand Ken, new. <laughs> Ken, don't forget, don't forget that day after the match, I yes. rode a horse. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor rode the horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you, I tell you that you you remember that. But then, uh, two things, two things I wanted to talk on here. Uh, your brother, your friend, yeah. uh, uh, Emmanuel Okala. I, about five minutes to that, to the uh, final of that game, he was warming up to come in, and then somewhere along the line, the NFA pre presented, you know, prevented him from going in when the coaching crew wanted to go there. And two, uh, when you guys, when you guys were rewarded. Two of your assistant coaches, Eto I'm, I'm, I'm Chini, and then uh, Isaac Nadu, were not rewarded. I mean, can you? I, I, I read those things here. Up, and up to today, they were not what everybody benefited from. They were excluded. Did, did they give you any reasons why they were not rewarded? And you know, why they stopped Okala from entering just three minutes ago, five minutes ago, we're leading 3 0. What, are, what, what, what do you feel about those, questions, about those things? Well, Ken, it was after the match that we knew all these things. Okay. Because we are inside the field playing. Yes, okay. We are inside the field playing, so we couldn't know what was happening outside. It was after the match we came to learn that Otto Gloria wanted to honor Okara for the last time. Yeah. And give him that honor, you know, to be in goal, you know. And uh, some people there in the NFF and so on refused and so on. We never knew what was happening. But let's say that has been the past. What we are after is that we want the good. Yeah. And whatever we got, Okala got it. Okay. And everything. And, uh, you know, uh, that's how it happened. You know, we never, uh, we are in the pitch. We never knew what was happening outside the pitch. You know. Okay. Uh, uh, then about, the, about the houses to the Amechina and the Nado. Yeah, you know, you know, this is a high-powered government offer, and everything. We cannot reach them. We didn't know we cannot reach them and every other thing, and uh, that is how it happened. We never knew they were not giving. We thought everybody was honored and giving. So by the time we learned of it, it was late. There's nothing we could do anymore. Okay, uh, uh, Chama, why I pointed this out was that uh, some few months back, we had coach Godwin Izilian, 80-year-old coach Izilian, who took Nigeria, the, the Falcons, took them to South Africa, won the, World, the African Women's Championship, until today, the F NFA have not paid him his you know, allowances and bonuses. Probably, that is what we are saying, that this thing started way back in 1980. Some people were not some excluded, and we are still having such issues, even up to now. I will do ex probably that the, the government of Nigeria on the present day will remember our heroes who have sweated and then denied you know, their, 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 their sweat. Chairman, we are going to open the lines now, uh, if, if we can, so that you know, maybe your well-wishers will call in and talk to you. And it's all about the field marshal. I, I was trying to look at where... Um, okay, um where Akbabot, where Akbabot, you know, described you as the film master. I think I was up the 1980 or so inside this book. I normally should have been reading some extracts, you know, a lot of, a lot of them. All these things we're talking about are all included here in the film master. Uh, you'll be coming to Lagos next week on, on, on this, a, 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 a few days' time? Yeah, on, on the 13th, on Wednesday. Okay. It's going to be launched in a NIIA. And okay. uh, I hope, Ken, you will be there too. <laughs> <laughs> because I hope to see you there, you know, and other media people. And uh, this is uh, one honor being given to me when I was alive. It's not when I die tomorrow, Ken, you start to breathe, saying, 
giving me honor and doing this and that. This is the highest honor I have ever got. As I'm alive, I see everything happening when I'm alive. So yes. I give thanks to God. And I give thanks to the committee and the journalists who decided to write this book okay. on me, you know, because they took me by surprise. Okay. I never expected it and so on. And they did, and they are the ones organizing everything. So I give kudos to them. And uh, on Wednesday, we will be there again to launch the book. Okay. Uh, uh, let's, let's now move from 1980 to 1985, Chairman. Uh, you guys picked some kids, some Nigerian children, and took them to China. Uh, when FIFA says they are starting the FIFA under 16, now under 17 tournament. What was it like picking kids from Nigeria and join, going to the World Cup and winning the first ever World Cup for Nigeria? What was it like? Yeah, Ken, even we that are going there, we are going as underdogs. It's the first time, you know, oh. Such a competition is being organized in China. Shall and, I hold uh, on? Sebastian Brodick yeah. is our boss. Yeah. And we have to select some good players and go to China. We too, we are going to expose ourselves and make. But when we got there, we see that, oh, there's no difference. So these uh, people are the same thing with us. And we, are, we have good players. You know, go there was the captain. We have Ibinoba. We have Shola, so yeah, many of them good I'll players there. You know, and uh, we continued the game. We played the first game. Okay, we got a good result. We continued the second game, good result. And so we got to the finals with Germany, you know. And when we got to the finals with Germany, we knew we have won the cup, you know, because we have players by then, you know. And God on our side, we achieved that. And then we came back, you know, and uh, that is how... It happened. That is how it happened. Okay, we have Shola. We have Shola on the line, Chairman. Uh, Shola, you have a, you have you have any word for the for, for, for Chairman for Chairman Chuku? Yeah, yeah. I just want to celebrate. His, I cannot call him Chairman. I call him my father. Okay. <laughs> you know when they took the nation's cup, I was in my mother's belly then. That's how. But I follow it. I when I grow up, I know who is Christian Chuku. I follow everything about him. He's a father. He's a father and he's a leader. We need people like this. The truth is that, please, I want to use this to talk to our government, our FE. They should not leave people like this aside. They should do everything possible for them to still live more. We know that it's only God that holds somebody for them to live okay, to look okay. For them to be okay. So even them that said they'll be happy with Nigeria government. That's the truth. Because now like this, I was watching him in Kaduna. You understand? I was so happy because I love Super Eagle to the core. To the core. I don't care if Super Eagle. That's why in my own relationship in Kaduna, I talk about more about Super Eagle and Nigeria League. Because that's where I am from. That's they cannot see me, but my own can locate me. My yeah. own can see me. That's all the truth. So that's why I say, my father, who's the Christian Chuku, I celebrate you. I celebrate you and I celebrate you. Long life, I keep pray for you, Daddy. Long life, long life, and long life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very Sarah. much, my son. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Okay. Chairman, let's, let's, we're appreciating you. We're, we're, we're moving from 85. Chairman, we are going to... You see, everything you touch, I think you have a Midas touch or a Midas, Midas presence. From 94, from 85, we are going to 94. In 94, they also say, you have, you have, you have assisted Sebastian to win... Uh, World Cup for us. Go and assist West Ham, and you went to the AFCOM in 1994 in Tunisia. How did you put that team together? How did you dominate Africa and win our first AFCON outside? After 1980, where you were the captain and won it in Lagos, you are now the assistant captain winning it in Tunisia. Tell Nigerians what happened in 1994. Yes, in 1994, uh, we went round. And you know where Sahaf were living here. And uh, we advise him, we have good players back home. And uh, it's not that we don't believe in foreign-based players, 
But we need foreign best players in the week. Wing. We don't we don't have good players back home. You know, and West Ham listened to us and he, he traveled with us around the country and we watched the leagues and so on. And we selected good players, wonderful players. You know, by then Stevie was in Belgium. We have uh, Yekini in uh, Portugal. We have all these players, you know, outside. You know, but we have real home based players who are good, like Nostre uh, Guavo, Ben, and uh, so on, even our culture and so on. So we, we are able to camp them. You can camp home play base players as long as you want. And we build them into a strong, formidable team. You know, even all our, go all our goalkeepers are home base, you know, and that is how we started. And we started building them gradually, gradually, until we have a very formidable side, okay. you know, that gave us what we want. And when we went to Tunisia, we, everybody saw it and saw the result. And we also qualified for the World Cup. Yeah, our time. first World Cup qualification. So, all right, MSN, somebody, yeah. uh, MSN wants to talk to you. Uh, Chairman, we have a caller on the line. Let's, let's, let's take Hello. him. Hello, MSN. Oh. Hello, good day. Yeah. I'm Go on. very, very happy for what channel television did today. Hello? Hello, go on. We are, you, you are hearing you loud and clear. Chairman, I'm very, very happy for what channel television did by celebrating you. I appreciate Channel Television for this. And Chairman, I'm happy talking to you. Go on. Okay. Chairman, I'm happy speaking to you on live television program. <laughs> it's not easy to be a legend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Chairman, sir. Thank you, uh, Mr. Television, I appreciate. Thank you I so appreciate. Much. Thank you. No problem. My chairman, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I pray <laughs> that you live more so that we we'll celebrate you more. Oh, thank you very I'm, much. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing your face. I'm I so much happy. I say amen to it. Yes, I have changed. Thank you we so much. We have now learned how to appreciate our legend. No? Thank you. Thank I appreciate you so Thank you, sir. Thank All right, thank you, thank, thank you, Mr. Ali. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, Chairman, Chairman, we want to go on another short break. Uh, uh, when we come back, it will be the home stretch. The lines will still be open, and then I will talk more about the field matchup because it's right there, sitting down before us in Enugu. Stay with us. It's a channel spot on Sunday. Welcome to the ancient city of Benin for the 11th installment of what is the 38th match journey that comprises the Nigerian Premier Football League. Today we see table toppers, lobby stars here to face off against Bendel Insurance Football Club of Benin. And then of course we see Benjamin Tanemu are receiving the award for the player of the month. Reach its uh, destined or required target. But then the are once again on the ball. They have, of course, been the side with the highest amount of possession and control since the start of the game. Completed much more passes. And a cross over the top now. Falls kindly for Saki as well. It does very well. Lovely cross there. Who connects with that one? Allowing Chinedu to head away. And here comes Lobby Stars now coming forward. Down the left. Tries to dribble in. The shot is from distance. And it's in. And it's almost so into the net there. Now that. Haruna Aruwaka standing over this. The ball comes in. Looks like a good delivery. Goalkeeper is off his line. Can anyone get on this? Goalkeeper is still down. Another cross back into the center. Benjamin heads it. The cross. Um, but Globy Stars escape. That was a very narrow one there as the defenders all stood across the line. 
and stops the ball from getting in from Benjamin. The ball goes off Akili. The throw in. Polobata throws the ball to Ebuka. The cross is in, but doesn't connect any Benden insurance player. The danger is not over. Julius Emiloju plays it back in. Chukidi tries to connect with it. He can fall for Saki. He does get it, Tamara. Tamara's shot wasn't the best option. He tried to be acrobatic with the finish. And yes, we'll see that change we made now. Evans Obunda makes way for Junior Osagai. They frustrated the efforts of Bendel Insurance in the second half. Tamara Ezekiel gets the ball under control and finds Junior Osagai. Junior's cross is poor, but it's off. Now that would have been one very controversial one. Junior Saga, his club won by Steven Soje. Benjamin tries to spread it quickly. And the ball falls to Tamara. He finds Polo Bata. The cross comes in. It's going to fall for Junior. Junior Saga. Junior Saga gets the goal of a pendant chance. Once again, it is quick thinking. In the last minutes of the game, Junior Saga has got. Stadium. Wonderful display there. Celebration. The crowd shouts. All right. You're welcome back. Uh, this is a very special edition of this show. Uh, uh, we have Jacob. Jacob is trying to talk to the chairman from, from Agbo. Uh, he's still on CCC. Chairman Christian Chuku, he is there. There is also one chairman of Nigerian football, and it's all about the field marshal. So, uh, Jacob, hello. Hello, Jacob. Yes. All right. All right. Talk to the chairman. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, I'm calling from, yes, I'm calling from, yes, I'm calling from Ababu in Delta Peak. Okay. Can, can you can you reduce the volume, please, Jacob? Jacob, please. Can you reduce the volume of your TV? Just listening, listening uh, uh, on your phone. Just kill kill the volume of the telly. You will hear us, and we hear you. Are you? Have you done that? Okay. Yeah, go on. Yes, please. Go on. Yes, please. All right. Better. Yes, I want to be uh, see the face of uh, this football legend. Okay. Yes, his, his and, face uh, is there. His face is there. That is his face. Yes, <laughs> I, I so appreciated his face. In fact, I'm, I know he's getting aged, and I want to celebrate with him. Yeah. Yes, I want to celebrate with him uh, for um, seventy. That is, I think seventy. Uh, he's seventy-two. 70. He'll be seventy-three in in in, in, in two weeks time. Young. Yes. <laughs> yes, and um, Christian Chuku, uh, Chairman Christian Chuku, that that name was given to him by. Um, uh, the S uh, football commentator, um, NS, NS, NS Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Yes, uh, NS Okonkwo. I yeah. wish the man is still alive. Go on. Yeah, I, this uh, feed my child. I don't know how you can make it available to us. <laughs> I will want to get a copy. Okay. I want to get a copy of the feed my child. Okay. And uh, Christian, I will want you to. Uh, the, 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 the football in Nigeria, uh, because we are going down the lane. It was not like this when you were there. In your time, Nigeria was at its best. But right now, I don't know, some of us don't know exactly what's happening. Thank you, and I wish you many more years. And uh, how I wish, of course, I, I think you should have one of your children as a footballer. <laughs> yes. Yes, and uh, that is the way I think um, uh, you'll be, you'll be, uh, you'll be, uh, 
Thank you so much. All right, I thank, you, I thank you, Jacob. I, I, thank I, I you, Jacob. Thank, thank you so much. much. Uh, uh, Chairman has had you. Um, everybody's appreciating. And Chairman, um, of course, you said uh, he's asking how will they get a copy of the film, Marshall? Everybody wants to know about your memo, about your story, about, you know, from... Uh, 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 before you ask, let me ask you one quick question. CC is here, and then also, uh, well, also has joined us. Um, if you are not a footballer, Eh? If you were not a footballer, yeah. would, you, would you have owned an abattoir? Would, maybe you for the kill the kill ram, okay? Will you will you have because it's like when you were growing up, there was a story. Can you tell Nigerians <laughs> about your about your famous father and the, what you had to do? Uh, can you briefly tell us, you know, uh, uh, what your father did and how you were involved before you choose to play football? Okay, Ken. Uh, Ken, please tell Jacob to give you his address because we will give you a copy to send to him. Wow! You know. <laughs> That's good. Complimentary yes. copy signed yes. by the chairman. <laughs> okay, that was good. <laughs> tell, Jacob, you have a copy. So briefly, chairman, yes, uh, uh, yes. tell us about your, your youthful days, just briefly. Yeah, you know those days when we are playing, the last thing your parents we we notice is that you are playing ball. Yes. Your parents want you to be a lawyer, a, you know, a doctor, and all these things. And even your your mother and so on. When they move on the street, they hear people calling uh, our colleagues. Hey, this is the father of doctor. This this is the mother of engineer. This and so on. So if they, your parents hear you are playing football, you are in soup every time you know and uh, when we are playing football we are hiding you know and playing and uh, it got a stage you know i was lucky that i am discovered me where i was playing and brought me to my parents and said if you don't allow this boy to play football we will stop him his school career and okay. everything you know and that is how my parents tried to remove their hand from them and uh, after uh, during my school after the schooling days i played for highlanders highlanders is owned by minister of finance you wow. know and when they come to carry us for training you know there are people who are uh, also also people for tax yeah. you know everything <laughs> so when they bring down their vehicle to come and carry me my father and his friends will run away, <laughs> thinking that tax people have come to tax them, and so on and so forth. You know, so from that time, they said, tell them not to come with this vehicle to come and carry you to play football. If they come, come to carry you with this vehicle, we will stop you from going to play the football. So I reported, and they stopped coming with those vehicles and so on. Okay. So, so we started going on. Should and when my father, my parents started hearing my name, yes. ah, this is play football. He said, my name started coming up and coming up more than the, the names of doctors and engineers and yes. so on. Then they have to pay that back, you know. And okay. that is how they started giving me the support. My yeah. my my parents are uh, my my father is a butcher, yeah. you know. He kills cows and also on and so forth. And he started getting customers. Everybody started coming to them, <laughs> asking of me, and so on. And that is how they relax their mind. I say, ah, this football, uh, we don't know. Oh, yeah. Even those days, if you do a funny things and pass my parents, say, get away this ball. Every time you are useless, yeah. you come here to. Now, all these things are to what are people want their son to go through mm -hmm. now, okay. you know, and so on. So All right, let's, thank let's, God for that. Yes, let's take a call. Shago, Shago is joining us. Hello, Shago. I know we kept you on hold. Uh, uh, we are, apologies. We just have to listen to the chairman you know, tell us me. his story. That's Hello, Shago. That's fine yeah. me. Yes, I, I am happy to join. I'm happy to join the League of People that are there. Uh, chairman, Mr. Chuku. Yeah. Uh, I was quite young. In the early 80s, when Kinsen Chuku used to be, uh, you know, uh, the household name, Nigerian football. 
And uh, we equally pray that God Almighty will continue to keep you in good health and bless all your children. However, we want to use this to encourage our heroes. President Juku had contributed immensely to the growth of football in Nigeria. And as such, people like him should be celebrated, not just by philanthropists, in Dupo, but by the government. Available for our staff so that they will get encouraged. Like I said, you can see many of these staff are no more interested or no more encouraged to remain in Nigeria, to contribute their quotas to Nigeria because the way we do it. God for the life right. of uh, Samuel Fedola, who apparently, by the uh, information we read, that he was the one that took over the medical bill of Chairman uh, President Shoko. Okay. To moving on and on. However, what is NFF doing when this man was here? Several billions of dollars go to NFF for. What is, what is too much for them? Out of the numerous millions that goes to them to take care of this man. I learned uh, Peter Fergene. Two, is he and this man is languishing just because of Miguel. I think we have to look back at All this right. country, <laughs> the way we run thank, things, thank you. and uh, yeah. take care of our heroes. I, I, you, I celebrate you. God bless you. God bless you too, Shegui. Thank you very much, Shegui. <laughs> I appreciate you. You have reminded me of a Tedora who was my savior. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here mm -hmm. to be discussing with you. You know, you know. And so I pray that others like Tedora should come and help our players and our aging team teammates so that we can live one or two days extra. Thank you, Shegui. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, Cecilia is here. Uh, of course, Cecilia is just hearing some of these stories that I'm asking you, but she will, she will ask a story of the future. Uh, uh, Cici, <laughs> Chairman is there. <laughs> Chairman, it's actually an honor to share this space with you this afternoon. Uh, I mean, the question I want to ask, I mean, you talked about um, how there was a build-up to the success of 1980. And of course, you were the assistant coach when Super Eagles won the national score for the first time in 1994. Now, we're going into another one, and there's a media campaign of Let's Do It Again that the NFF launched. From what you've seen with this crop of Super Eagles, can they actually win the national score for the first time after uh, 13 years? The last time won was in 20, uh, 2013. 2013. That's 10 years ago. 10 years ago, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm preaching to the new coach you know, and his assistants. The, our coach will come and stay with us in Nigeria. We have a lot of talents in Nigeria. In our local league, yes, we have a lot of talents. And when you don't camp with them and train them, you know, and forget about this, we have a match, they come Thursday, they train Friday, they play Saturday, and they disperse again. We don't have a team. We can't get a team like that. Let's come back home. All those that are playing on overseas are good players. They have the opportunities. We have those players back home who are equally good, but they don't have that opportunity, you know, to go abroad and play. And if you come here and discover them, let you be the manager. Let you be their manager and expose them to the Euro people. We have a lot of people who are players back home who are very, very good, better than the foreign base. But they don't have the opportunity. You have to come home and discover them, and you have enough time to train them. They have enough time, you know, to train them. And when you train them, I'm not saying you should not mix them with the foreign base. You should invite the foreign base, but give the home base the opportunity. They are the ones that you can use to, to, to gain whatever you want to get. I'm not, I'm not happy that we have a match uh, on Thursday or uh, Friday, the players are coming in, train one day, Saturday, play the match Sunday, and disperse again. That is not a team. We don't have a team as far as I'm concerned. We don't have a national team now because our coaches, even our coaches, they are abroad. 
he comes like uh, the players. So stay with them and play and travel again. <laughs> we have good players back on place. Uh, you should come and recite here yeah? and uh, let us work together. We are, we, are, we are ready to assist him to achieve whatever he wants to achieve. Okay. Oh, where I mean, where I mean, uh, 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 Okay. Uh, is the quick one? I've said it before. Um, two players my dad introduced to me were just Christian Chukwu and uh, Mudalawa. Oh, of wow. course, I saw Mudal play because he extended his play. But Chukwu, I think, apart from if we have 1980, then one or two matches, I so everything I know about Christian Chukwu was through my leader. Now, um, chairman, who is really actually closer? to the mythical Christian Chuku between Ben Ugu, that is Ugu Gede, and Uche Oke Chuku. Who was a player who can call in your own mode Christian Chuku between Ben Ugu, Ugu Gede, and um, Uche Oke Chuku? Okay, uh, Chairman, I said between Uche Oke Chuku and uh, uh, Ugu We say which of them played, played like you, played like Chris, that, played, you know, that you can say this player was played the way you were playing, when you, you, know, when you were marshalling that, that, that back four. Yeah, two of them are very good players, and they play in the defense. Uh, 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 in the defense, and last man, you know, Ben Ugu was a very good defender. He plays last man, you know. Ucho Ketchuku was a very fantastic player, you know. He plays his own, and uh, he played with Keshi, and so on, you know. And these people were home base, and we are giving the opportunities. They expose them to play, you know, and that is why Western Half is raining till tomorrow. He gave a lot of home base opportunities to expose them yeah. to play their game. And uh, today, Western Half is the in team. I'm begging this, uh, our foreign coach, if he can hear me, let him come home and live in Nigeria, where we assist him discover a lot of home base players. He can mix them with the foreign base and he will get the result he wants. Okay, uh, uh, Chairman, we are, we are about closing the show now. Uh, uh, so can you talk to Nigerians, uh, uh, talk to Nigerians about uh, what, is, what is happening on where you've said it, uh, where they should come and meet you on Wednesday, and then read about the field marshal. Can you use that to close the show, sir? Yeah, uh, uh, to Nigerians, uh, first of all, I have to thank the author of the book, you know, he, he, he slept and woke up one morning and I said, I'm going to write a book on this guy, yeah. you know, called Fred Marshall, yeah. you know. Okay. So I'm happy with him that he remembered me when I was still alive. So I'm calling on Nigerians to please come on that day and see the Fred Marshall yourself. You that know, is the venue. That is have the, a handshake with the Fred Marshall. Yeah, the place yourself. and the time. Chairman, the place. Where, where, sir? Where? And where? Where? Where is it? Nigerian is of N I A N I I A. At uh, at Kofi Aboyemi. Okay. Nigeria Institute of International, of International Affairs. Affairs. Okay. All right. On, yes, on Wednesday. That is on Wednesday. On uh, Wednesday. Time. Uh, and if I don't see, see you and Kofi me and Cecilia, I'm going to fight three of you. <laughs> What what time, sir? What the time? The time, sir? The time, time? 11 o'clock. It is 11, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock in the morning. All right. Okay, thank you so much, the field marshal. Yeah. Uh, uh, we are grateful for talking to you yes, and for Nigeria seeing you. Yeah, yeah it's All right. my pleasure. Please. All right. My okay. What am I dropping? I just can't forget my pen is here. I'm cannot turn on behalf of my guys and those of you call. I know who could try to reach us. Have a very blessed day. God bless Nigeria.